Isn't it incredible the amount of people with autoimmune conditions experiencing anemia? And if you watch the video that this comment is referring to, I'm talking about how we are most likely overloaded with iron, as in we have too much. But Bowie, how can I have too much iron and be anemic at the same time? So here's a paper from the American Journal of Medicine talking about iron in the heart. Again, it's from the 70s, but it's got some really good information. Now this paper is saying that 19 out of 135 patients with cardiac issues had CID or cardiac iron deposits, aka iron in their heart tissue. Now, those numbers themselves might not seem compelling, but let's look at the details of those 19 people. Of note, every patient who had iron in their myocardium, which is heart tissue, also had iron in other organs and tissues. Of the 19 patients with the iron deposits in their heart, three had hemochromatosis and 16 had anemia. So that's saying that these people were technically iron deficient by anemia standards and yet still had iron deposits in their heart tissue. And of those anemic patients who were receiving extra iron via blood transfusions, they had even more extensive iron deposits in their heart. And even those who weren't getting extensive transfusions had cirrhosis, so they had a compromised liver. The takeaway is that you may present with anemia, which is a low serum level of iron, iron in your blood, and still have extensive iron deposits in organ tissue, i.e. just because it's not in your blood doesn't mean that your body doesn't have a lot. And the effects of having iron where it's not supposed to be, like in your organ tissue, are problematic.